Welcome back to the workshop, everybody. So glad you could be with me here today. Walter here at the workbench. Today, upon request, we're going to talk about the rag in a can. It's nothing special. It is exactly that. It is a rolled up rag in a tin or a can soaked with oil. What kind of oil? Totally up to you. Doesn't matter what oil you use to fill it with. This happens to be ballastol. You can use jojoba oil. J-O-J-O-B-A. Jojoba. You can use camellia oil. You can use mineral oil. You can use 3-in-1 oil, you can use light machine oil, you can use sewing machine oil. I don't care what kind of oil you use. Just don't use whale oil. Whales don't like it. So, the reason for the rag in a can is to reduce friction. You take it, you run it across the sole of your plane, okay? And just the contact of that leaves a thin film of oil. And that makes your cut that much easier. Okay? And that's basically it. Now, this can, or as they are called, tin, is from tomato paste. If you don't ever use tomato paste, which is concentrated tomatoes, you could use a small tin from fruit. You could use a small tin from mushrooms. And if you don't want to use a tin because you don't have any tins, you could use a yogurt container. You could use anything you have that's comfortable to use. If you wanted to, you could use a block of wood with a hole in the middle. Roll up a piece of cloth. What kind of cloth did I use? I don't remember. It might have been a cotton t-shirt that was torn. Cut a section, rolled it up evenly, stuck it in the can, filled it with oil. It could be a piece of terry cloth towel. It could be a piece of felt. Doesn't matter. Roll it up tight, get it in the can nice and even, fill it with oil. And that, my friends, is the story of the rag in the can. What it does is it replaces having to have a piece of candle wax around. You know, the candle wax would be your choice of lubricant. You would squiggle it across the sole. But a few years ago, I stumbled across using the oil, oil and the rag in the can. And since then, I haven't turned back. On occasion, I will use the candle wax, but not very often. So I hope you found this something useful, helpful, maybe entertaining. If you did, go ahead and click the like button. And if you're new to the channel, I welcome you to subscribe because we get together here once in a while and talk about some things. But most of all, head out to your shop. Go make some shavings. Walter out.